Hello YouTube, it's the True More 64 back with another video. Today I'm gonna be reviewing Ikimu the Mask Maker. So here it is. And before I get into the review, let's go over one of my favorite parts of a, re of a, a review the box. So here's the box. We got Ikimu right there. The Umarex mask right there. Bionicle, mask of control, Lego, information, don't eat the pieces, and Akimu the mask maker. And in the background, we can see Umarex the destroyer. So, yeah. And on to the back. On the back, we see Kimu right there, functions, more functions, comic, a mask, a mask of creation, Kimu's name in a different language, your warnings and all that, other information, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into the review. So, here it is. Um, here's Akimu, the n now confirmed Toa of Light. Yes, he is officially the Toa of Light. If you didn't see um, the TTV channel's latest breaking news where Lego confirms that he is the Toe of Light. So yeah, we finally get a Toe of Light. So yeah. So anyway, let's get into posability. Let's, shall we? Let's, yes, we shall. Anyway, he's got a full ball joint in the head. You can look up, you can look down, you can look all over the place, so full ball joint. He's got a full ball joint in the shoulder here. Can be somewhat limited, but not too limited. You could get all the important stuff. In there, you got a full ball joint in the um, elbow, so you can do all sorts of poses. And then he's got a full ball joint in the hand. So yeah. But one thing is in this shoulder, er, in this arm, he's got a limited ball joint in his elbow. So yeah. Um, for his leg articulation, he's got a full ball joint at the hip. A limited ball joint at the knee and a full ball joint at the foot. So yeah. It's got all that sort of puzzleability coming for him. And he does have a gear function right here. Um, so you can get that waist articulation going for him, and it kind of broke on. There. There. Fix. So yeah, it's got the gear function. So, yeah, 
There's that. Now, he does, well, in terms of weapons, he's got this shield on his forearm, and it's just connected like so. And he's got this huge hammer right here. So, yeah. Oh, and also, before I forget, let's take a look at Umarek's mat. And I dropped it. Hold on. Got it. So, it's silver. Well, this is now silver with trans orange. Right there. I'm not sure if it's like I think this is actually Gunmetal Gray, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's Gunmetal Gray. So yeah, there's that mask. So yeah, now he does have the eye stock functionality. You can lose the mask. And I continue to drop the masks. And yeah, it's basically just that basic eye stock functionality that we get that we've gotten throughout the whole G G2 line. So yeah. But anyway, let's take a look at his map. A uh, new mask of creation here. Pretty awesome. It's all trans light blue. And then I will grab the mask of creation. Well, the regular mask of creation so we could compare them. So yeah. Same mold, but just a different color. So yeah, but since I have it here, let's see what it looks like, what what Ikimu looks like with the regular Mask of Creation. Honestly, when I first saw the pictures, I thought, um, well, I didn't like the trans light blue Mask of Creation and was just gonna put the regular Mask of Creation on them, but I'm not really li liking the regular Mask of Creation on them. I'm more liking the um, full trans blue Mask of Creation on them. And thus, like, we have a gold chest plate on them instead, so yeah. Anyway, he does have a, another gear function. If we turn him around, we will see that he's got arm gear function functionality. I feel like he's leaning. But, he's got arm gear functions. Although it does kind of get in these shoulder pads, kind of get in the way of that. So, you might want to find a way to fix that. I'm not sure if there's a way, but if so, can someone please let me know? Let me know in the comments. 
So, yeah. Um, well, and also one thing is I should mention about his shield is that it still kind of spins. It's not like very fast, but it spins. So, yeah. Now, let's do some comparisons. Shall we? Let's. Yes, we shall. First, let's compare him to last year's Akimu. Here he is. Aki well, this year's Akimu is much taller than last year's Akimu. So, he got a smaller hammer, although he d does have that, um... Stud launcher. It's got a silver shield instead of the um, trans blue shield, but it does this one does spin. Um, he does have that kind of same kind of color scheme going, but like here on his legs, you can see the gold shoulder armor on the lower legs, gold armor on the lower legs, and then goes up to trans light blue on the upper legs, as we can see right here. So yeah. But this Sakimu was protector size, but he do did have a gear function which made him um, a bit more leveled up and this Akimu has a gear function in the arms and in the waist which makes him one, one of the best Toa like sets ever because he's got both functions from last year and this year so yeah next we will take a look at Last year, well, not last year's, but we'll take a look at Akimu. Why not? What am I saying, Akimu? Umarak. That is his name, Umarak. We are looking at Umarak, the hunter. So, yeah. Here we have Umarak. He is kind of leaning somewhat. Hold on. And then raise the camera up. We can see that Umarak is way taller than Akimu. But we can Take a look at what this mask looks like on him. I'm not really liking that. Not not really liking that mask at all on him. In all honesty. And also ignore anything that you hear in the background. So anyway. Um yeah. Now, let's compare him to a Toa figure. I'm just bringing in Tahu. So, yeah. Here he is with Tahu. But he does have a cure on him. So, yeah. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. And I do. So, yeah. 
Anyway, um, is there anything that I have to compare them to? I do not think so. So yeah. Oh wait. Actually, let's compare them to the beasts. Um, so here is him with Quake Beast. I just grabbed a random beast. Um, and Ikimu is taller than him. Uh, next, let's let's compare him to Lava Beast. And they are actually about the same height. Wait, hold on, let me bring the camera down. Yeah, they are about the same height. And then let's bring in Storm Beast. And Kimu is just a smidge taller than Storm Beast. So yeah. Anyway, um, that is about it for this review. Let's get into my final thoughts. Okay, now for the final thoughts. I think Akimu is a great set. Um, he is totally great. He's got both gear functions from this year and last year. He's got this amazing hammer. He's got a very cool shield that is not on his hand, but his shoulder, his forearm. Um, he's got a great color scheme. He does have design func well, designs implemented from last year's Akimu. And also, he's the Toa of Light. It is confirmed that he is the Toa of Light. So yeah. That is all amazing. So, yeah. Um, do I recommend this set? Yes. Yes, I do. Pick these up. While you still can. Because time is running out. I cannot guarantee if... Mm, you can get a hold of this set um, by the time of next year, but just go out and order them right now. Well, because these are only available at Toys R Us or Lego themselves. And also I picked mine up from ordering them on Lego. So, yeah. So, go out and buy these. Do them right now. So, yeah. Anyway, that is gonna be it for this review. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go follow me on Twitter. Name will be down in the description down below. And also, um... Go subscribe to my Minecraft channel. Please. Go subscribe to it. Knocking the camera around. Sorry. Go subscribe to it right now. The link is in the description down below. Please go subscribe to it. Please. He will come, come to your house and hit you with his hammer if you don't. I mean, his hammer is spiky. He's got these spikes on it. It's that new shell piece. That, that's spiky. So, go subscribe to it. Please. Anyway, that is good. Well, and I'll see you guys. Well, wait. And my next review will be on Umarak, the Destroyer. The final set of this wave. 
and I will see you guys next time. Later.